whatever town we're in, from Buzios, Brazil, to Cartagena, Colombia, or if we're here, you know, I, I just love to meet the people and become one with the community. With my downtime, I go to the coffee shops every day. I go to the breakfast places, the lunch places. One of the best times that I've had filming this show was giving people rides in South Africa. Every day that I had to go down into Cape Town, I would have a car full going there and coming back. And it was, it was the best experience ever because we listened to the language of the world, which was Bob Marley, all the way there and all the way back, singing at the top of our lungs. And uh, it was amazing. Queenstown, New Zealand is by far up and above everything else. And I just got back from Rovine, Croatia, and that is the most charming town I've ever been to, and I absolutely loved it. Namibia was awesome. I think the final challenge was one of the hardest things I've ever seen. I think they might've ran a half marathon. They were running up and down sand dunes. I had to run up sand dunes all the way to the top of the mountains. It was crazy, it was awesome. And uh, the island, that was by far the hardest one. Quitting to me is like, you're just letting yourself down. You're gonna regret it before you get to the airport to go home. I don't even remember the kid's name, but he quit because he missed his girlfriend in Mexico. And that was where the phrase, uh, all right, cool, don't take care, hope to see you never came. Don't take care, hope to see you never. Still disappointed, no, no, I'm just kidding. I wish I could tell you how it felt to walk back out into the show as the host after the brain injury that I had but I really cannot remember. It was a very faint memory of standing behind something. Um, they were like, oh, hold on, wait, wait. Everybody was just standing there waiting and he just walked in and everybody cheered. And they were cheering and I was like, okay, cool. And I was a bit confused. I still was like a little bit brain damaged. So I, was, I don't really remember too much. Um, it's, it's almost as if my short-term memory is like, has disappeared, so time goes so, so fast. I don't think there was a dry eye in the house, and it showed how tough that guy is. It was just one of the best moments. He had undergone just such an awful accident, and he's such a soldier, and he's such a fighter. There's definitely been moments, you know, throughout the time filming, that I, I say to myself, man, it really feels good to be back on set and to be back with my challenge family and, and everybody that I know from the camera guys to the producers, they're all my family. They're all awesome and, and I've been with these people for over 15 years. Every time I see TJ is my favorite memory. TJ's awesome, man. All of his entrances every season, they're so epic. Double agents instantly stands out. The guy pulled up in a chopper and then won in like a bike. My favorite memory of TJ is getting my first fist bump. That meant that I finally made it to the arena, I finally made it to the challenge, and I'm finally part of the family. So fist bumps all around, brother. Fist bumps all around. 100% the look on his face on top of the mountain in Rivals 3 when Johnny took the money from Sarah. TJ's face, as it always does, spoke volumes. My favorite memory of TJ was me getting to the top of the mountain on Double Agents. I finally got to see TJ be proud. You know, usually TJ's always giving us a hard time when we're getting yelled at by him. He really um, told me I did a good job. After doing the final in Free Agents, word on the street was everyone was betting I wouldn't finish, including TJ. And when I came down that mountain. I want to give a special congratulations to Devin. Hell yeah, Dev. MVP. I didn't yeah, know you had that in you. I don't Thanks, think you yeah. knew that you had that in you either. But you got it done. It's been years since that happened, but to this day, it is probably one of my favorite moments in my entire life. It literally was like nine years ago. I don't know, I still cry about it. Trivia. <laughs> TJ doing trivia is the most comical yet sadistic thing ever. And his laugh is just... <laughs> I don't know, it's something about the way his tongue is when he laughs. <laughs> he makes the games fun. He blows that damn horn loud as shit. All right, guys, ready? Go! 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 And I love it. One of my favorite memories of TJ was on All Stars and he came dressed in his like poncho. <laughs> my favorite memory of TJ is anytime he says my name. It's just like. All right, Ryan. Up first is gonna be Ryan and Teresa. That makes me laugh. He's so monotone sometimes. He's a funny dude, I'm gonna be honest. Like, there's so many times when he's explaining, like, rules to us, 
and I'll just stop and like crack a joke at somebody. When he pulls out his phone during the Fessy and Josh fight and he's just out there scrolling, I mean, we were crying laughing at that. The look on TJ's face when CT was freaking out in dual one on push me and he started kicking dirt into the cast's face and got into an argument with Wes. And I will say, that man knew exactly what the drill was and that was to get the hell out of that arena. My favorite memory of TJ is when Cyrus tried to run up on him and be like, all right, boy, don't get it twisted. Take it, he that. No, no, he that. He's the ground before me. No, that. All right, Cyrus, that's it, that's it, that's one. You ain't gonna disrespect me out here on this beach. My most favorite TJ memory is when he came back from that BMX accident and uh, he almost died and had the brain hemorrhaging. He suffered some very strong head trauma and we were all waiting to see who was gonna be, we didn't know. And he came back very close after he suffered that extreme accident. So it was a moment for the cast of the challenge to kind of rally around him. Everyone was just so excited and watching him persevere and go through all of these things and doing all of it with us and just being so supportive of us. That was just awesome to see. I was actually in tears watching it because it's just like knowing the resilience that he had to have to come back. He's always the one that tells us to make sure we don't give up, To to push, to dig a little deeper, and to see that he did that was an amazing thing.